Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benin with Israeli News Live. And uh, going to be touching a couple of subjects tonight here in a quick news broadcast, talking about the, uh, the New York migrant situation, what's going on there, uh, as well as Zelensky doing a standing ovation with uh, Justin Trudeau in Canada, saluting uh, this man here who worked with the SS. Hmm. Interesting. Never seems to surprise you, does it? At least it doesn't surprise me anyway. Uh, also, over on our Patreon channel, we loaded two new videos there. I think reading the title on the one might be uh, something that uh, you'll find very interesting. Uh, the title of the video we put on Patreon is called The Fly on the Wall. But on the photo, on the imaging there, is totally different there. I, I am shocked that uh, an engineer that I know actually... They're telling their own people now. Uh, that person is an engineer with that group that you see there. And uh, some very eye-opening meetings that they have been in recently there. Uh, we share that over on our Patreon uh, channel there. I got more, like I said, I'm working on an update on the binary system as well. Going to be putting that over there uh, hopefully sometime tomorrow, maybe even tomorrow morning. So definitely get on uh, Patreon there. Uh, and the other one is just a testimony, but an amazing testimony of something that just occurred. Wonderful healing that just occurred. And uh, and it was really a blessing. And I haven't asked the brother if I can actually speak of the name of the individual, but perhaps we'll be able to do that in the not so distant future there. All right, let's go right into it here. I want to start here with Zelensky here. This here coming out, AP, uh, they are showing the news clips here there of Mr. Zelensky. Uh, President Vladimir Zelensky there can and Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau recognized Yaroslav Hunka, who was in attendance and fought with the 1st Ukrainian Division in the World War II before later immigrating to Canada. In the House of Commons and Parliament Hill in Ottawa on Friday, September the 22nd, 2023, is when this took place there. Uh, as you can see, Mr. Zelensky and Justin Trudeau, their wives there present with them, applauding Zelensky. Very happy, very proud of this man. Uh, and this is the man that they're applauding right there. Like I said, again, he was in World War II there. But let's take a look at who this man actually is. Uh, and... Uh, Right here, Waffen Grenadier Division, uh, Dared SS Glazier, NR1. Later, the 1st Ukrainian Division of the Ukrainian National Army, 1st Division. And uh, you have it right there. So, yes, that was a pro-Nazi uh, pro group there. Uh, any thoughts on the standing ovation yesterday in Canada's Parliament for the fighter of the 4th Waffen SS? Hmm. That does seem a little bit interesting, doesn't it? Well, I guess if you have a... Nazi uh, group fighting in your battalion ranks there in Ukraine doesn't surprise a whole lot of anybody, does it? Also, this one here, and the reason why I want to bring out this situation right here with New York, and they were arresting some of the protesters uh, that were protesting the migrants that are being bused into New York. Uh, they were basically converting a, um, a retirement facility uh, that had been, I guess, been... Um, closed down they were opening that uh that retirement facility up and they were bringing in the migrants there to place them inside of this nursing home uh there were a lot of people protesting they don't want them coming in and uh you know this is really becoming a problem well interestingly enough the same engineer that i spoke with about the uh the asteroids that are coming in uh next year and also in 2026 uh, spoke uh, in about this situation here too going on in New York City and said that basically they're, they're creating safe haven uh, places for people. They're going to try to encourage the people to go in. Uh, you're going to start seeing more and more like a Walmarts and places like that where police are going to start uh, guarding those type facilities in and then it's going to move into even larger uh, situations to where entire communities are going to be closed off from out from the rest of the world and they're going to encourage people to move into these locations here calling them safe havens and uh, of course I was told that eventually they would replace the police with military uh, and then you'd be behind military barricades there it is actually part of a much more sinister plot that's going on and uh, this is just to give you an idea you know we were talking about New York and what was happening there and how that 
bringing in the migrants into the different locations are going to is going to make it more and more be, to appear to be unsafe and to force the American public to leave their uh, their their rural areas, places like that, and want to go into these protected safe havens. But at the end of the day, uh, you're really going into a police state of your own uh, where eventually the military will keep you locked down. Uh, some crazy, crazy things that are going on. I still have more information I want to share with you, but I wanted to get this out to you and, uh, and continuing to update you biblically on things that I feel strongly in my heart that you need to know as well. I'm Stephen Bernoulli. You're watching Israeli News Live. Have a blessed evening.